The Model Train Outsider presents the following public service announcement on behalf of the Skill Figures Amputation Prevention Society. Hello, I'm internationally famous model train comedian and host of the critically acclaimed shows The Maryland Outsider Insider, as well as The Model Train Outsider and The Maryland Outsider. And I'm here on behalf of the Scale Figures Amputation Prevention Society to talk about a dark secret that has been hidden in the model train community for too long. Daily, needlessly, thousands of scale figurines in all model scales are put through horrendous torture and mutilation, having their legs amputated just to fit them inside the interiors of our passenger coaches, our DMUs and EMUs. Worldwide, hundreds of model train modelers such as myself must go through the emotional cruelty of clipping hundreds of legs off, torturing innocent scale figures from companies such as Prizer, Nolk, Vaulters, Fowler, all because the model train making companies of this world selfishly and ignorantly refuse to make their interiors to scale size so that these figures can sit in normal. Think about it. You don't get your legs cut off when you ride on a train, so why should these poor innocent figurines be tortured? It's bad enough they don't have access to toilets, that the doors won't open and close, that once we put them in, they can never get off these trains, that permanent hell, the least they could do is have their full bodies intact. This is a crime. And I'm asking you to become a part of our voice, the Scale Figure Amputation Prevention Society, because this cruelty this unethical treatment of scale figurines must come to an end. Your donation, 50 cents, a dollar, five dollars, fifty dollars, a thousand dollars, a million dollars, we don't care, we'll take any sum. Your donation will help our society bring to the public's eyes and ears and even to the eyes and ears of those cruel, selfish, corporations that make our model trains. This abuse must stop. The emotional toll on modelers such as myself is horrendous. Look, this is what we go through. Here is a figurine that already had a cane. I had to not only take his cane, I had to take his legs just so he would fit in my model. This cannot be put up with any longer. And once we've cut off their legs, what do we do? We throw them in the bottle of bins where cubic inches a year gather in our world's landfills, already adding to an environmental crisis. This has to be stopped. The least you can do is recycle. Join us, the Scale Figures Amputation Prevention Society, and put an end to this needless cruelty once and for all. Again, I'm Anthony Dodge. Thank you. The Scale Figure Amputation Prevention Society. For donations, have your bank or credit card and any other valuable tax information handy and call 1999 URASAPS. Once again, that's 1999.
you are a SAPS. The Skill Picker Amputation Prevention Society is a subsidiary of Kahat Charities Incorporated. Kahat Charities Incorporated is not liable for the veracity and accuracy of the claims made in this PSA. All donations to this charity are foolish and will likely find their way into secured vaults of the executives of Kahat Charities Incorporated. Kahat Charities Incorporated itself is a subsidiary of Kahat Industries International and licensed under the very tenuous legal guardianship of the Kanan Rastani Royal Government. Any and all legal claims made against the Skill Picker Amputation Prevention Society, Kahat Charities Incorporated, or Kahat Industries International will be completely ignored in the court of Canon or Stan who recognize no other jurisdiction in matters concerning the dealings of Canon or Stanley citizens. Any civil actions will take years to end up and wind up with us laughing at you. Anthony Dodge is a paid spokesperson of Kahat International Industries and should stop whining about how little he is paid if he doesn't want those photos of him and his wife released. Thank you and have a nice day for your friends that can understand.